Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is the third review for the Martha and Marley Spoon Mil Meal Kit Delivery Service. Today we're gonna be making shrimp scampi with Parmesan polenta and spinach salad. Now, when I got my box, I didn't receive the card for the shrimp scampi. They sent me a different one, so I'm gonna be um, using it off of my iPad, so I hope you guys don't mind. Um, okay, so with that being said, let's get into the nutrition facts if I can find them. All right, so uh, we've got 700 calories per serving, 39 grams of protein, 45 grams total fat, 37 grams total carbs. And then for the ingredients, we have shrimp, garlic, basil, polenta, spinach, parsley, sour cream, Parmesan cheese, uh, more Parmesan, and a lemon. So let's see, first step. Oh, I'm sorry, supplemental ingredients, oil, salt, pepper, butter, sugar, and it calls for white wine vinegar or apple cider. I didn't have white wine, so we're going with apple cider. Okay, step one. Bring two and three quarter cups of water and one teaspoon of salt to a boil in a medium saucepan over high heat. Finely grate half a teaspoon of lemon zest. Finely chop two teaspoons of garlic. Pick and coarsely chop parsley leaves, discarding stems. Pick and finely chop half of the basil leaves, discarding stems. Okay. So, let's get that water boiling. I still haven't gotten better control of these stupid lemons when I'm zesting them. Should be enough. If we need more, I have more. Blue Apron sent me one bushel per package, so I have like eight of them. Mar um, this one is also doing the same. Okay, um, parsley, parsley. Okay. Step two, make dressing and gremolata. So in a medium bowl, stir sour cream. Chopped basil. This probably could have gone in the small bowl. Um, one tablespoon each of oil and vinegar. And a pinch of sugar. Very aromatic. Oh no. Okay, that's done. Then in a smaller bowl, combine lemon zest, chopped parsley, half of the garlic, a 
one tablespoon of oil, and then season with pepper and salt. Oh, and you have to do that with the, the other one too, I forgot. So these would keep them separate. Next step, whisk polenta, blah, blah, blah. whisk polenta into a saucepan of boiling water, then reduce heat to low, whisking often until thickened and tender, five to seven minutes. Remove from heat, cover to keep warm until ready to serve. So let's get that polenta going and get my big whisk. come back every like 30 seconds. I don't know how to cook polenta, so I don't want to fuck it up. Step four, cook shrimp. This may be too big, so let's swap it out. So for the shrimp, you gotta rinse it and then pat it dry. Here we're gonna do, we're gonna heat two tablespoons of butter. Over medium high heat, add shrimp. So let's, let's wait till the butter melts and then I'll put the shrimp in. In the meantime, I'm gonna stir the polenta again. Okay, that's done. So now we're gonna put the lid on and let it chill. And then by chill, I mean hang out, not cool down. Okay, now for the shrimp. The butter is melted. Remaining chopped garlic. Cook until shrimp are pink and cook through two to three minutes. Season with pepper, remove skillet from heat, stir in half of the reserved gremolata and one tablespoon of water. Now my question is, which one is the gremolata and which one is the dressing? Do you see what I'm saying? because I have no idea. Okay, so based on the pictures, it looks like the one with the sour cream is the gremolata. I feel like such an idiot. Like, you don't even know. I mean, but then this picture, I don't know, you guys. Let me Google it, hold on. Oh no, so the gremolata is the parsley the lemon zest and the garlic. Excuse me, so I'm gonna separate them so I don't get confused again. Please bear with me, I've never made this before. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I don't know what it means. The card's not very descriptive. Okay, so I'm gonna finish cooking the shrimp and we'll be right back. Time for pepper. And then the half of that gremolata and one tablespoon of water. Oh man. Oh no, one of the shrimp fell. The 
dogs are in for a treat. Okay, now cover. Let me just check the mic. Okay, it's good. Okay, next step. Finish salad and polenta. So it says whisk the dressing. I'm not gonna dress the spinach just yet. I don't want it to wilt and get ugly. Spinach is very sensitive. Um, so we're gonna finish off the polenta first. And it says to the pot with polenta, stir in one tablespoon of butter and half of the Parmesan. So I guess one whole bag because there's two. Half of two is one. Quick max. And then one to two tablespoons of water if the polenta seems too thick. So let me stir it first. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of water first and go from there. Okay, I don't know what the consistency is supposed to look like and it's pretty thick. But I don't know how thick it should be. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. I don't wanna mess it up. And then it says season to taste with salt. But then you ask yourself, what is polenta supposed to taste like? So what if it, I may put too much salt? What if I put too much salt? I mean, it's a legit concern. Next step, serve. So I'm going to plate everything and then we'll get the review on the road. So All right. hang tight. And here we are ready for the tasting. So we've got the polenta on the bottom. We topped it with the shrimp and some more of the gremolata along with a little bit of Parmesan. And then on the side, we have the little spinach, the baby spinach with the dressing. So let's try it. Okay, so the dressing needs more salt and more pepper. It's very sour. But along with the spinach, it tastes, it's very refreshing, very, it reminds me of spring and summer, you know? Cool, cool and citrusy. Mm. Okay, the polenta and shrimp. The shrimp is super good. Mm -hmm. The polenta is, as you can see, or I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty thick. But it's very bland. So I'm sure I need to add more salt for that. Um, it kind of reminds me of um, shrimp and cream of wheat, but not sweet. It's okay. Is it something that I would like, would it be a go-to dish? No. But I, I'd probably give this like a seven out of 10. Um, this is my first time trying polenta, so I do like it. It's not, like I'm not grossed out or anything because of the texture. Some people don't like that mushy texture, but I do. I mean, it's fine. I'm just gonna add more salt and let's see. Okay. Definitely better with more salt. So yeah, I'm just gonna give this a seven out of 10, not because of the meal itself, but it was mostly my fault. This fell under the category of 20 to 30 minute meals. Martha Stewart or the Martha and Marley Spoon app has a bunch of categories. Uh, the first one I, the first two I did were just regular um, meal kits. This is 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna try the healthy ones. There's a low carb one. There's a 10 to, what is it, 20? 20 minutes, another 20 minutes one. There's one for the family. So I'm looking forward to trying the rest of those. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Please remember to like this video. Just give it a little quick thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that notification bell and I will see you guys at the next episode. Y'all have a good night. Toodaloo.